there's a couple of details now that it, it's set up and ready. One of them is leveling. You gotta look at your terrain and figure out how you want this thing to sit. If you're putting it on a slope, you can either dig in the high side or you can build up the low side by putting a little something under that front edge. What we've got here, we have to bring, bring it level by about, it takes about two inches, an inch and a half, inch and a half to two inches of rise over this. We're gonna level this garden bed by putting a little bit, about an inch and a half of material under the south edge. For this bed, being at this height, a little bit of slope that way is just fine. So we have our garden bed set up and ready to fill. Now's a good time to talk about the options for what to fill it with. Generally, plants need only the top foot or so of really good soil. That's plenty of root depth for almost all plants. The bottom half you can fill with whatever you want. The best choice is wood chunks. Whether it be down branches, down logs, little branches. Wood makes a really good choice in there because it acts like a sponge and a slow release fertilizer as it breaks down over 10 to 20 years. And all that time, it's holding moisture down there. And so once the roots of the plant get down to that moisture, they're good to go. They, they're very drought resistant then. Another option is straw. Straw is a good option because it breaks down and uh, turns into soil down there. The downside is it starts out fluffy and when it breaks down it compacts. So it's a great way to offset your soil usage, or the amount of soil it takes to fill it, for the first year or two. After that it's sunk down a lot and you'll have to top it off again. Same thing will happen just with soil itself because soil's fluffy when you fill it up in there. It gets kind of fluffy and then it packs down over time with rain and then you have to top it off after the first year or so. Another good option is chipped up wood. Wood chips are often available after a storm if you got a lot of tree damage. It's common to have them all chipped up. Odds are good you can find wood chips without too much hassle. So as we start filling the garden bed, I've thrown a little bit of infill material, but the, these wood chips are going to go around the perimeter. And that does a number of things for us. You put it on the flap and you make sure that the flap is laying flat. That's what holds the garden bed in place. The weight of the soil, in this case the wood chips, on the flap helps pin it all in place as it gets filled. So after you get your first little bit of fill in there, double check to make sure that it's filling round because the soil pushing out is gonna flex the whole material and make it take a circle shape. If you're not round at the bottom and round at the top, the sides are gonna be wonky looking. We just finished filling this with soil and I wanna show you a couple little techniques that make it a little easier. Big challenge is gonna be settling. So we're gonna leave it a little bit mounded. But another detail is making sure that around the edge, the garden circle, the garden bed is, you push the soil up against the edge and make sure it's really full and tight. And you do that just by pushing the blade in along the edge. There, and we've gone all the way around. And I like it when it's over full. It has a little curve on the top, just like a really nice cupcake. It's late in the season, and we're just getting this ready for next year. But to protect the soil over the winter, we're gonna cover it up. And that keeps it from uh, drying out in the sun, and that helps keep the biology in place. 
and we want rich soil with the proper microorganisms living in it to support the plants. And that concludes how to install a garden circle.